John here guys and today we're talking about the ISDT Q6 Nano. Power at 400% capacity. How about that? That's right. This is the latest charger from ISDT, one of the most beloved and well performing chargers on the market and this is their newest budget micro tiny model here you can see it i'll show some close-ups on the bench next to the former classic the original isdt q6 you can see that this one is a little bit smaller a little bit shorter a little bit thinner and most notably though where it has decreased size the most is actually the price this is normally about 55 65 bucks this new version the q6 nano reduces the price all the way down to 29.99 that's right 29.99 and if you act quick you may be able to get it on sale even cheaper than that now let's run through some of the specs of this thing because how can this thing be so incredibly cheap this is the hota but uh just look how much bigger that thing is so here it is next to a crossfire module if you want to get some more size comparisons there let's go ahead and plug it in and give it a whirl so you can supply power to the side right here you have both a uh, power input and a usb output the familiar isdt screen boots up i love this system uh, has probably the safest charging setup available because it has cell balancing on board internal resistance monitoring on board now this charger does not have an internal power supply that's one of the reasons why it's so tiny so you are going to need to supply power so if you have a large field charging pack if you have a generator if you want to get some alligator clips and charge off of your car battery or you want to just purchase your own power supply and i'll put a link to a very inexpensive one um so as soon as i plug it up you get the familiar so i'm essentially going to be charging this forest battery with this 6s battery this is the iFlight full sin battery pack i'm gonna have a video on that pretty soon and let's see it's very easy i actually kind of like this compared to the scroll wheel because you can just easily push up and down right there and in to go backwards. So I can see all my cells right there. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of charging. You can see that it defaults to LiPo setting. It automatically detects that there is a four cell and it's gonna charge at one amp. I can change that. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit start. And now we are off to the races, charging so easily. Um, but you know, that's the similar formula. I can't decide if I like the jog wheel or this better. Maybe I like the jog wheel better. Um, it does come with a little bit of an instruction sheet, some ISDT stickers, and this screen protector. I really like that they have started putting screen protectors in here um, because you might throw this around in your bag. It could get scratched. You could keep it in your pocket with you at all times. It's that small. Max current of nine amps input and eight amps output max power output of 200 watts so this is a very capable charger it can work um, at home or in the field for all of your charging needs and i really really like that finally there's a budget charger that people can start with that is of a well-respected trustworthy brand you really don't want to skimp too hard when it comes to your chargers because after all this is going to be supplying power to your lipo batteries you're going to want to charge in a safe place whether it's in your garage i charge on a metal toolbox on the top so that everything is enclosed in metal um, always just to be safe just in case you have an issue with one of those and having a safe charger like this that can balance charge that can monitor internal resistance is absolutely the safest so if you're starting out get something like this only 30 bucks now you are going to need a power supply I'll put a link in the description down below for a $30 power supply, or you can provide any of your own. If you happen to have a spare PC power supply laying around or an old Xbox 360 power supply, you can mod one up like I did. Plenty of options there. Now, what I like about this is that this is not just for beginners, it's also for racers, bando flyers, freestylers who go out into the field. If you have a large charger that you use as your primary charger when you're at home, this can easily sit 
in any pack. It can stick into any case. It can stick into your glove box. Just set it and forget it. I'll set it and forget it. And that way you always have a spare charger. Racers who compete, I really ha highly advise you to have a spare charger. I've seen it happen. Um, we're at a field, we're at an event, someone's charger dies and they have no way to charge. And when you're going on some of those events, you need to be able to charge throughout the day to have fresh, fresh packs. This is a way that you can do it without breaking the bank. Just keep it in there. You always have when you need it. Thanks guys.